Dr. Lockhorst, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed um, at the European Haematology meeting in Sweden. Um, to begin with, can you tell me what the rationale is for using a monoclonal antibody like DARA in the setting of advanced multiple myeloma? It, it's a complete new field, uh, monoclonal antibodies in myeloma. And um, the reason to start in end stage patient is because it's the first in human um, monoclonal antibody to be used. And uh, so we have done a dose escalation study in which we did, we started with very low dosages and then climb up to 24 milligram per kilogram, which is a high dose. So it's the first aspect was safety. To determine if safety, uh, if monoclonal antibodies can be safely given to myeloma patients. And this provided the impetus for the study that you presented at this meeting? Yes, because um, the primary input was, uh, was safety and it appeared to be safe. Uh, it can be given to very high dosages. We didn't see any dose limiting toxicities. But the remarkable thing is, is that we saw responses. And uh, in a phase one study, you don't expect so many responses as we have seen. And I think it, this is the first time that uh, a monoclonal antibody in a phase one study showed such a remarkable high response rate. Um, we've treated 32 patients in a dose escalation study. And uh, what we saw that at dosages in which you might expect some a good plasma concentration. We saw of um, 12 patients that eight patients had a response. And that's a remarkable fact. And in this study, was it being used as monotherapy? It was used as monotherapy. Yes. And is there the potential for combining it with other agents, do you think? Yes, yes, we have done in vitro studies in which there is nice synergism or synergism with lenalidomide. And um, in fact, the combination trial has just started, combining lenalidomide plus um, daratumumab in less pretreated patients. And the only thing I can say that it looks very promising in a combination study. So there is the cert certainly the potential for this agent to uh, improve on the current strategies used by hematologists. Yes, absolutely. I think that uh, uh, there's a great new interest in, in new ways of treating myeloma patients and we, we all know the proteasome inhibitors and image we get better versions of that but treating the patient with a completely new direction like monoclonal antibody I think that's a very uh, promising uh, um, next treatment phase for myeloma patients. And finally uh, it's, it's clear that uh, advanced multiple myeloma is a notoriously difficult uh, cancer to manage. Yes. Um, is there anything else at this meeting that you've seen that's uh, been of interest to you, to you in, this, in this field? Yes. Uh, um, I think that um, the new proteasome inhibitor carfilzomib is very promising. Pomalidomide, the next generation image, is promising combination of carfilzomib with, uh, with pomalidomide and dexamethasone in, um, as part of first-line therapy is very promising with response rates of about 100%. Well, that's, that's, that's very nice. It's very good for the myeloma patient. Dr. Lockhorst, thank you, Val.